The 2021 Chess Tour will be the first time the world's best chess player is determined over a full online season. This tour will not only reinvent the sport, it will also reinvent how chess is broadcasted to a wide audience. To do so, we will create an amazing show. We are now looking for the best English-speaking talent out there to be a part of this. You will be instrumental in making chess interesting and exciting entertainment, also for viewers with only basic chess skills. You will fill this studio with drama and enthusiasm when you give a global audience the excitement, time trouble, the genius moves, and the inevitable blunders. Can you see yourself as part of this team? Do you want to be part of building something never before seen in chess? Send us a screen test and show us some examples of the work you are most proud of. Ladies and gentlemen. Three, two, four. Eight. Okay, good game, Alresa. I, I mean, I just was way out of shape, but he deserves full credit. One of the most popular Chess 24 formats is back now. The tournament where top players not only battle it out on the board, but stream their thoughts live as they play. Eight qualifying tournaments with eight players each. Only one winner per qualifier. The eight winners will play against eight Super GMs in the final of the Banter Series. Awesome prizes for the winners. Plus, the top two players qualify for the next Magnus Carlsen Chess Tour. Watch it all on Chess24. your life. What's up guys? Back for uh, my, my second chance. Have my uh, second chance today in the uh, Panther Series qualifier. Hello, hello, hello. Against uh, Guru Open, this should be a. It's going to be a good match. Sub Z.
What's up, Mickey? What's up, Eric? Yeah, these are our fear ratings. So uh, my fear rating is is quite low, um, but I have uh, some J theory. I have uh, been pulling a little bit over my weight and blitz, so. See what's up, Barnes, W reflects. Yeah, but uh, uh, maybe I'll, I'll try and get my classical reading up. I have two tournaments soon. Um, what's up, Shark? It's good to see the, the, the communities here. I know there's a lot of other things going on right now, but uh, I'm happy that you guys are here. Some Neil, some Skirman. Yeah, so we have a second chance. This bracket is very, very tough, but it is not as tough as my previous brackets. Like my previous bracket was to like 2,700 plus guys. Here we got, you know, everyone's basically 2,650, but, um, you know, obviously still really, really hard opponents. So uh, I'll, I'll do my best to, uh, to make it through. Yeah, I have two GM norms, Maximizer. Two GM norms. I actually got the time wrong in the match. Um, I was writing an essay. <laughs> or not an essay. I was writing this uh, book review that I had to do for my English class. Um, but I was like, oh, wait, I have my match. Can you yell more? No, no, no. We're not going to yell. We're not going to swear at all. going to just keep it chill. Um, <clears throat> you know, we got to keep it classy and, um, you know, just, just play chess, play the game and, uh, <laughs> see how it goes. I think I might've ate too much this morning. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I ate too much. Maybe I'm not hungry enough. I'm not, I, I think I, I think I had a little bit too much to eat. Did I prep? Yeah, of course. I my I've been taking the you know time off streaming just to prepare. Um, but yeah. Yeah, I was eliminated, but uh, I got a second chance and another qualifier. You can actually play multiple qualifiers if you uh, if you want. Um, but uh, it's gonna be he's a super strong player. I've watched. I did some research. I was watching some of his streams. Um, Banter Blitz Tourney, yes, definitely. I would say they're both great tournaments, but if I had to choose one to do well, it'd definitely be this tournament. Um, because this tournament just has stronger competition, right? You know, I want to I wanna play against the best players. You know, I want I want a chance against Magnus or MVL. I want to play those guys. So if I make it through, then I'll have a chance, you know. That's kind of what I, you know, what, what drives my uh, my passion for chess. Anyways. Any any match predictions, guys? I didn't want to play both. No, I just didn't want to. Um, I wanted to focus on this and focus because I've I have a lot of things coming up, and especially with school that I had to, I had to kind of cut something out to uh, to save some time because like after this event I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have like homework for the rest of the day. And then uh, obviously I have to prepare for my GM norm tournament. 
which I haven't even started preparing for that. I've been really, really busy. Is Stevian a huge favorite? Who's Stevian playing? Is Bach playing? Yeah, he's in the bracket. <laughs> Hans Zero in the chess cards. Still thinking to be a really competitive match. When is my it's in uh it's in um my match it's September thirtieth. But uh I haven't really been doing any classical uh, training. So that's why I felt the need to drop out and focus and you know reevaluate my time. Because I've been focusing so much on blitz recently and fast chess that uh my classical has suffered and I need to kind of refocus on classical to get GM and then after I get GM I can start to maybe refocus on, on blitz instead of classical, but right now GM is my number one priority. So uh yeah. For my classical training, you know, prepare my openings. Openings are a big aspect. I can, uh, you know, train my calculation a lot. Just do exercises. Sometimes very difficult, but, you know, just kind of re uh, reprogramming my mind into this classical mindset is really important. Um, like instead of this blitz mindset, because there's a lot of things that I can pull in blitz that I won't even be, won't even be. So your top games, yeah, you can say your top games. Um, I think won the match. I don't know. It's going to be a tough match. Super strong player, and we'll, we'll see. When does the game start? In a minute. I don't know if he's ready yet, but uh, I'm ready. Oh. Sure. Okay. No worries. Oh yeah, he's white. Or oh, he's white. Okay, sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hans, why did you? I didn't switch to chess twenty four. I'm just playing in their event. Still a. Uh... Did you get a second chance? Yeah, I did. Memorizing theory. Yeah. We believe. Thank you, Parms. Thank you, Droopers. Thank you, Delta. Appreciate that. Thank you, Eric. Have you beaten people? I have, I have so far, but um, you know, I got pretty lucky in the previous matches. I got pretty lucky, so I'm not, I'm not too confident in my play. You know, I, I'm pretty. I, I feel like I'm always confident in myself, but especially after that that match against Liam, that was a tough match. But uh, you know, um, how many qualifiers? Do you think Andrew will if the no I'm confident, but it's you know it's I know I can win, but uh you know it's a, it's a good it's a good challenge for me. Um good luck, Sarah. Thank you, thank you. Um if there's a qualifier open, I assume Andrew might get a spot, but uh it's unfortunate that he also lost in the final. Um yeah, yeah, no, Le Quang is a super strong player. No offense to Oprin, but they're just in different leagues, so maybe I'll be able to, to do more here. I I think I've played Oprin a bit um, in Blitz. I think we have a pretty pretty even score. He hasn't made a move yet. I'm going to make some of a close chat, but I can continue talking to you guys. Okay, made a move. Bye, guys. Okay, put my music on. Try to provide commentary, but... Um, that might, might not be able to provide too much. It's a very competitive match, and I have to focus. So. Okay. It started. Um, I think I'm going to go D5. Don't see. He's going for this. It's, he's playing very, very Russian approach. Um, okay, I guess we're going. He wants to go for this line. I'll go for this classical c6. Okay, bishop f5. I don't know if he wants this or what he wants. He can, okay, he goes e6. Is he going to go for this queen b3? Okay, he takes. So I have to take now. Bishop b7. There is some theory here, but I'm, I'm not too familiar with it. It's a 
queen c7 is also a move. I know queen b6 for sure. Yeah, this is this is the line, right? I'm trying to remember. You need to be careful. Okay. I guess I'll go 97. I guess I castle here, E4. Honestly, not sure how I'm gonna respond. This makes a lot of sense. I think Queen A6 is an idea here. I think I've definitely fallen into some preparation, so. Gonna need to be very precise here to avoid uh okay. I think queen a6 is the move here. Okay, he goes there. And then knight g4, I think, is a good move. Again, uh, my memory could be faulty. No, it's not a good move. Let's take first. Knight g4 can be fine, but I'll play it. I want to force takes. Okay, where's the bishop going to go? Okay, I can play g5 here. Don't think I will though. Well, actually, why not? Let's go G5 and then Knight G4. 95 and G4 is a threat, like positional threat, you could say. You could have F4, but. Seems pretty lop lopsided. F4, I don't even have to take. I think I can just go knight g4. And even knight c4, right? If, if fg, there's this e5 score. Okay, h3. Okay, go to d. Makes perfect sense, right? Play rig g. Let's see how we wants to proceed. I'm going to have some queen d3. Actually, uh, maybe I was in an accuracy. I probably should have played queen d3 immediately. Now it goes rook d1 if queen d3, queen c1. Yeah, that might have been an inaccuracy on mine. It's fine. I'll play knight c5. I'm going to go knight e6. Um, if bishop e6, I could play knight c4. It just goes back. Okay, I'll go knight e6. Eyeing this d4 square, possibly. g4 is the threat, kind of. So if I go g4, take, take, then bishop on e3 is awkward. I'm going to bishop c1. I can go bishop c5. And with knight d4 coming in, seems like my coordination's uh, pretty nice. I also have an idea to rook takes, rook takes, rook d8. And if rook takes, bishop takes, bishop b6, maneuvering ideas. Um, if I can trade the dark squared bishops, I'm going to have the semi outpost on e5. Okay, that's prophylaxis towards knight c4, but g4 seems a bit much. Bishop c5 here, tick to okay, queen a5 is tempting. g4. Does he have to move though? Okay, what happens if I take everything? Tick, tick there, tick, 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 tick there, tick, tick, queen d3. I'm going to trust my instinct here. I think I should be liquidating. I'm not sure if this liquidation is correct, 
but I feel like this B3 with this loose net on C3, I feel like I have this nice positional bind and the next step is to just trade off these light scored bishops and isolate my advantage of this, this weak uh, bishop on G2. Not weak, but poorly placed bishop. Okay, now he's going into it. So. Yeah, I'm gonna play bishop E7. Actually, point A5. Interesting. Let's go queen a5 and see where this, where he, what he wants to play. Again, I'm going to keep this g4 move in mind, but it's a matter of timing. Okay, so this is, he allows this. I want to play b5, bishop b6 now. I'm going to argue that I have a positional advantage here. Okay, now knight d3. Or knight d4 first, or even g4. Or knight d3. Let's see what happens. Okay. I'll go c5. I could be getting a little bit too creative here, and I could end up overextending. But the hope is, is that my, my instincts here are correct, and that I do have a positional advantage. Okay. Yeah, that's the type of move I was trying to provoke. Okay. This was a mistake. It's too impulsive. Way too impulsive. Missed, missed it.
Okay, hold. How long are we gonna play this for? I defend it. Okay. I wish you guys could hear the music I'm listening to. It made it. It made it feel so. Uh, it was such a. Such a. This music is just the best chess music. It's insane. Okay. Let's get on a three. Like the song was at its like end at like the like crescendo. Pretty, pretty, pretty good song. Okay, I'm gonna go for some pet line of mine. Oh, oh okay, let's see if you looked at my games. Okay, it looks like you might have looked at my games beforehand. But I have a special surprise. Wait, is he is he is he's going into one of my games? He plays d4, he's going into one of my games. Pro chess league against uh which team was it against? Poland, I think. That was against like the Poland board too, with like d4, g5, take take, h5, take take, knight d4, take take, he, like e4, b5, bishop e3. I was just at like much better position. I was up a piece and I lost. But he's thinking now. Okay. At least I know he hasn't looked at the game. <laughs> he's going into it. No, with the, with the amount of time he spent, there's no way he's looked at it. Wait, is this a different move order? Oh shoot, it's a transposition. Wait, he got me. Oh, he, oh, oh wait. Oh, he, he got me with a transposition. Yeah, there's bishop h2, rook g4. Okay. Interesting. Kind of confused, but. Okay. So I'm going d3. I don't know what I did wrong. I think I just. He's gotten this transposition with one different move. Maybe I'm missing something. I'm misremembering. Just hallucinating. I don't know. Oh, no. Wait. Was this a game I played against? Oh, shoot. No way he found this game. Shoot. It's not good. There's no way, right? He's playing the same line that a computer played against me on chess.com. I was playing against this obvious just bot and did they play this? Wait, but by, by the time spent, there's no way he prepared it, right? Ay, ay, ay. 
I'm so screwed if he knows what he's doing here. I'm like just lost. If he got me into this position and he prepared it, he's just a god. I don't know what to say. The heck? You've got to be kidding me, right? Either he got into it by just luck. Wow, that's crazy. If you like got into this by chance, probably more impressed if he found it over the board. Because I think I played this exact same against this chess.com. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, I'm just dead lost. There's nothing I can do here. Uh, it's, it's resignable. I should resign here, to be honest. Bishop C3 or just dead lost. It's insane. I think I actually just messed up the line or what did I do? I'll see the win here, there's no doubt. It's like a bunch of different ways to win. Some are more direct. Okay, this one. Okay, almost just flagged there. Yeah, okay. It's insane. Let me look at this game. He spent the time. Nothing I nothing I have to say there. I wonder if that's prep. If he prepped that and and baited me with the time, that's some genius type stuff, but Life goes on. Okay. What does he want to play here? Goes for this. I go for like a6 b5 here. Something like that makes sense.
This prep is insane. I need to get out of his prep. I looked at this line, but just misremembered. Okay, he plays this. I don't know why. I thought I thought he was gonna play this move. For some reason, I just thought he was gonna play this. I don't know what. Okay, take back. Check check. Seems fine. I guess I'll find out what the issue is. I don't see what the issue is. This makes no sense. If there's a trade, I just take with a pawn and I'll Crush him positionally. So. Okay. Okay, another six. Bishop B2, Bishop C3, no wall. Out of six, bishop to c3. Now, okay, bishop b2, rook b8, take, take. What happens if text? Yes, f5. Out of six, bishop b2, there. My idea is um, if f4, bishop b2, rook b1, rook b8, take, take bishop d4, rook c2, bishop f6, king g8. And if I'm bishop d3, I go knight g4, and bishop a7, rook b7, rook b2, rook a7, rook b2, bishop d4. So f4, bishop c3. Then knight d4. Okay, so bishop c3, bishop, okay. What is there? Okay, what's wrong with c5? Okay, there, 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 take, take, there, suck, okay. Well played. It's playing really good moves. I'll give him the two bishops. But uh, the knight's gonna come to d4 at some point. Hopefully. Okay, F4. Wow, he's really not holding back. 
It's getting low on time. bit inaccurate on his end. Okay. Oh, why did it just hang the pawn? Good comeback. Good, 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 good. Good, 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 good. Okay. That was good. That was, uh, it was, I had to play it slow. That's how I need to play a reasonable game. I need to just play it slow and just grind them down. Um, I need to do that every game. I feel like once he gets low on time is where I can start to... So to, 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 to find a gap in the, try to find a hole to, hole to get through because he's, he's just so good at, in the opening, he's just so good at the middle game. But um, let me think, I need to just play something super clear and just tread off all the pieces. Oh, not F3 again. See what he plays against D4. Okay. I'm going to go with the London now. I'm sure you'll have some prep against it, but this is the, the best I can do right now. 
especially I've included E6. So I'll take that as a mini win. Yeah, this is not, you know, ultra theoretical. So okay, so he's gonna go over this. It's time to play break with E4 now. The P. Oh no. Uh, I'll hold it in. But uh, this is an ideal position. He's gonna t he's gonna take he's gonna take some time. He's gonna get lower in the clock. Can start to try to not liquidate, but maybe simplify things a bit. Twenty two makes a lot of sense. He's going to go for this e5 break at some point. Um, but the main thing about e5 is that once e5 is played, the bishop on g7, the bishop on b7 are not the, uh, the best pieces. So that's the... Okay. So... So like this is correct. I think this bishop belongs here because my queen belongs on e3, I think. To prepare knight c4. There is knight f4, obviously, but then I'll probably play bishop to b5 or c4, maybe. I'll go to c4. Maybe seven, pretty logical. C3 now, I guess. Now I'm threatening to, uh, you know, take the the pawn. Bishop H6. I'm gonna go King H1, threatening the uh, threatening G3. Now if now if King um, G3 is committing quite a lot to that. Which is fine, I guess, but just really committing to that. Queen E1 is going to be too passive. So it looks like I'm forced to take. But I think my next plan would be okay, it goes H5. So he's really committing to this. He said commit quite a lot. Curious to see what's going to happen after I, I trade these pieces off. Again, I'm trying to keep it slow. You know, I've misplayed this, but I want to keep things slow. Keep the game long. Okay, so he's offering a draw. In a, in a way. Very surprised. We can we can double. Is he fine with just taking the taking giving me the white? Okay, he doesn't. He doesn't. I think I'm actually happy about that. So now I'm gonna have I have this bad bishop, which is not that bad, but I'm gonna try and argue that it's bad. Start with knight c4, threatening g3. E5 can be can be a weakness here. Um, next, I'm going to challenge the, the D file. But you know, obviously, this, this bishop this is pretty strong. Okay. There might be B5 here, to where I will probably play. Okay, 93. Okay. 
Well, I just played B3, played safe. No reason to. Okay, so he's going to argue that his argument now is that he's provoked that move. Okay. Go okay, King G1. Play G3. I think I'm going to do that. Your King G1, threaten G3. Now, the key thing for me is that I don't want to play H4. G3 now. Don't think he's going to take this pawn. That would be a bit much, but I wouldn't be surprised. Really don't think. He, I honestly don't want him to either. It would create some complications that I'm not completely sure about. Again, I'd like, I want to go into like a very simple end game here. You know, King G2. The point behind this was that I didn't want to play this H4 move just to prevent uh, this Queen G4 ideas in the future, targeting the E4 pawn. So that was the, the reasoning behind that. Now, uh, you know, A4 is going to be a threat. This is B4. Knight H4, trade everything. Okay. Go Knight A3. Oh shoot, that's a mistake. Why did I play that? So stupid. Still fine though. I'm holding on. Barely. Barely. Barely, barely, barely. Do I get to hold on? Hope maybe actually this is gonna turn out good because he's going to spend all this time looking for a win that just isn't there. Maybe this was a, a an accidental good move. Yeah, no, it wasn't accident, just a bad bad decision by me. I do cover a lot of the, the entry the entry squares. He goes in, I'll go knight c4. Then he takes and goes rook c2. Should, should, should go back. Okay. So it's knight g1 there. I guess I can go back. Should be two rook over. Okay. Can you two is the threat? Okay, F3. I'll take it. Why not? So go h5, h4. Okay. Just go up. Again, there's no direct threat. I need to make a move though. Could be the losing move I just made. Wait. Oh, I just blundered. Again, my attempt to keep it slow and grind it down, he just did what I did to him last game. He's just a better player. Pretty unfortunate. Okay, Design this. Okay, I'm not 
going to waste time. Again, the opening is just not going my way in any of these games. His, his, his theory, his preparation is just... Just that good. Okay, I'm going to go for some really theoretical stuff now. No, I mean the opposite. I need to just go for something like no theory whatsoever. Just need to play a game and not like be lost. Okay. And then he'll he'll know what to do here as well. Yeah, of course. Okay. Yeah, no, he'll have a, a line here prepared. Uh, don't 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 you worry. Queen takes now is the move. Queen h5 or something. I have, I have studied this. So yeah, so castles, queen h5, a3, take, 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 take. He doesn't really play any of the openings that I, that I expected, which is why my, my, my preparation hasn't been as uh, useful compared to his. We're going to equalize pretty easily here. So, play. Oh, I should have taken, I should have went to the bathroom. Yeah, yeah, that's just a very equal position. Maybe I'm even slightly better. C5 coming. Nothing to complain about. Is that four? That feels wrong. Can immediately, you know, go for the break. Hopefully F4 is some sort of overextension. <sighs> But there we go. Definitely. Really happy with this position. Time for G6. Yeah, I actually think it's time for G6. I'd like to see if. Well, obviously, I'm threatening to take the pawn now. But now I'm going to, to bring my rooks to the DMC file. Probably gonna go a6 b5, knight d5 is an idea, but king on d2 is just uh, you know a problem for white, especially with the you know overextension with, with f4 and d4. Definitely will be some some weaknesses to exploit. Obviously, take with the knight. Just trying to reroute. I guess the king is going to e3. I can reroute this way, right? Take a match of working F2 and F2 is, is a problem. If H3, I'm going to go, I guess, CD is the move because if knight takes D4, I have knight, knight D5 check. So then if I can get like H3, CD, CD, I'm just going to have this outpost with good bishop, bad bishop. I'll go rick C8, apply additional pressure, and just break at the right point. So I assume h3, but then cd4 is just the move. Um, yeah, OK, no, no, let's see cd4 just for xc1. For xc1, I can take. Rook takes bishop g2, knight takes an knight d5 check again. OK, I think we a6 b5 now. If I, if I provoke a4, that's that's another weakness. It was a3. I'll happily go b5 now. Uh, maybe I should have played. Um, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go h5. If I can get the move, probably should have played it one move earlier because of f5 now. 
the could there could be f5 which could be problematic okay g5 is exactly what i wanted now i've cemented a lot of weaknesses there's quite a few long-term weaknesses that i'm going to exploit Knight belongs on d6, I think. Can double on the C file. Threatening A5 now. Okay, willingly goes for this. Now I kind of wish my, my knight could go to... Uh, Hmm. I don't want to trade too much. Um, could go there. Take, take, take Bishop C four. And then there, and then like push my four. It doesn't seem to be enough. I'll go here. Just keep more pieces on the board. Just that, that might have been the point where I just I cash in, but I really feel like I can milk more out of the position. feeling that there's just I think there's just more in the position to to be like it's just, it's just such a nice position there's got to be it's just got to be some just got to be a, a point where I can build it up and, and crash through when I want so I'm offering the trade at a four now yeah, I think I found my point. Okay, yet another weakness has been created. Now I think I've I've provoked everything that there is to provoke. I don't think there's enough provocation left. There are just so many weaknesses. Bishop to d5 next. Rook a4, target this pawn. The kind of point behind this play is that you build it all up and then you just wait for the perfect, the perfect shot to just blow, blow up. You know, there's a bubble and you keep on blowing it up. And then eventually it pops. And too much pressure is applied. Okay. Takes. Six, I assume. That's four. Just too many pawns. Just too many pawns. He's keeping his hopes alive. Looks like this pawn is not going to be stopped. up there yeah king up just king d3 that was a nice nice little trick okay two and a half two and a half just 
need to get a good wide opening. Like with wide, I'm getting these like just like lost positions out of the start. Like I don't, I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. But with wide, I need to just do some do some thinking. Okay, you know, as they say, you know, everyone does their, their best thinking in the bathroom. So hopefully I can come up with a, an improved game plan uh, with, with the white pieces. Because my, 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 uh, with white, hopefully I can, uh, you know, you know, harness that, uh, that, that, uh, that, that bathroom thinking power. Um, let me think. I need to think. Like, so he's like the class. He's 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 Russian. So he's been playing very positional. And I think that this line I played against the most successful. But I'm not sure if I'd like to return to that position. Although, if he returned to that and I play bishop h2, rook g4, e5, like bishop b3, bishop g4, queen g4, that exchange shock actually seems very interesting. I think I'm going to go for that exchange stuff, right? Like what else after bishop d4, if bishop h2, rook g4, what else does he have there? Like e5, bishop e3, maybe he doesn't, like he has to take take. Queen d7, queen e4. Castles, knight c3, bishop c5. Castles, take, take. Yeah, I'm sucking the exchange. Let's let's go for some crazy stuff. So we, the game where he played this, this plan, which he just crushed me in, I'm actually going to go for this exchange sacrifice. Um... Because I, I, I think that he's really, it's really going to mess with him. I genuinely believe in this exchange sacrifice. And I think in the spirit of this match, again, I know like this is not a good position. I know the computer evaluation is not good here. I've studied this, but you know, I. I have faith in the game strategy here to go for this exchange set. I genuinely believe in it. I think that this is really something that he's gonna he's gonna underestimate. So like bishop h2, rook g4, e5, bishop e3. I was speaking about this earlier, but I doubt that. Uh, Many, any, most of you guys weren't following that, but I'm sure some of you guys were. Maybe, maybe if Magnus is watching, I'm sure he would uh, be, be you know, nodding along like, "Oh yeah, of course, Hans, of course." <laughs> I'm just kidding. Magnus would be like, "What is this guy doing? Sacrificing his exchange, playing G4 and move five? What a, what an uncultured, uh, what an uncultured guy!" Okay. 
So this is what uh, I, I, have, I have intended to play. And now bishop e3. And uh, I guess we'll find out if... I, I mean, I sh honestly, I, I, I should have checked this with the computer probably <laughs> while in the bathroom between games. <laughs> That's probably what I should have done. You know, I don't think there's nothing, you know, but <laughs> I probably should have checked this. But I hadn't predicted that this was going to be a line of contention this match. Just because okay, I, I, had, I had maybe considered bringing this line out of the woodworks. Um, but uh, I feel like I, I maybe misevaluated uh, Mr. Aparin as, as a player. Um, I kind of just underestimated the, uh, the strength of his opening preparation. Okay, right, C3. I think I have a good position here. I think this bishop on h2 is really just not a good piece. And I castle queenside. Where is he going to castle, right? He, he castles queenside. I'm going to have some pretty interesting attacking ideas. If he goes in 93, I'll play takes, takes queen e4. And exchange down with a pawn, you know, manageable. Like there, take, take. Bishop f4. I play king e2. You don't take. Yeah, okay. It's not the best. Could be worse there. 93 can also just go king d1 with king c2, right? With the two bishops coming in. Then I don't know, four is, you know, unfortunate, but, oh, is he going to play rook h5? And then knight e4, right? Okay, castles. I, I mean, queen d7, I really don't like that move. I really, now I'm starting to really like my decision. Okay, rook d8. Okay. He's got no time. He's smart. He can go over, right? But he's got some attacking ideas. King b1 makes a lot of sense. Um, it could even be actually a worse square. King. Rookie one. I'll go rookie one. There's no doubt that the rook is just improved as a piece if it goes there. So he's offering an exchange sacrifice. Not, oh, not really. But the d4 is a possibility here. So knight e4 makes a lot of sense. So I'm going to play it. King B1 now. But he, he always kind of has this um this Queen E6 idea on par. And I think I should be a bit more prophylactic. Like D4 is the direct, really direct move. And I really want to play it. Okay, screw it. He's, he's got no time. Not no time, but I want to drain his time here, and uh, I want to get the spirit of position that I think I can uh, do well in. But it, it doesn't help that right now, the, the most important thing in my mind is my book review that's due. Um, so if any of you guys are good writers and would like to maybe give me some advice on, on how to write a good book review, that would be really appreciated. So I think I just go Rick D1. I was actually writing my book review because I thought I had more time to prepare for the game. And I spent like 30 minutes trying to figure out what MLA format is, like this correct MLA format. So <laughs> I I thought the match was a bit earlier. Okay, so now TX is very natural move, but he has this. Wait, well, what am I missing? I don't think I'm missing anything. Yeah, this D4 move has done its purpose. Definitely has, has done its purpose. Okay, so now 
I need to find a, a really strong move because there's got to be something here. Queen d6, then take c5. Yeah, c5 is probably, probably the move. But still, come on. What is there to play? Actually, actually, no, it's not good. Oh my God, I'm joking. I'm looking for a win. It's just really dumb by me to use my time. So inefficient. Holy dude. Make a move. I was dude, giving everyone a heart attack, man. get him wait did i get him did i get him did i get him oh i got him i got him yes 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 oh my god dude i'm such a i'm such a joke of a player oh my god Dude, I am the luckiest person alive. I don't, this is why I'm an international master, because I'm just so bad at this game. Like, I, I drain my time down to, like, less than a second. Like, oh, my God. Uh, I need to be, I need to just. <laughs> the funny thing is that I've been playing on a bullet recently. I still can't move for my, for my life. I'm lucky. He's just so much. He's not much better than me as a player. I'm just lucky. I feel bad for him. I've been getting so lucky in all these matches, but I've been playing really badly. I kind of want to play H5. <laughs> that would be too much of a troll. If I played that, I would feel... I don't know why I wanted to play it. For some reason, I'm like, okay, wait. I don't know why. I just have this inner urge to play H5. And when you have inner urges, you, you follow them, you know? I saw Nihal do this against Shanklin. Maybe I'll try and remember what I saw from that game. But for some reason, I just have this urge that's telling me, like, Hans, play it, play it. Um, probably should not have listened to it. <laughs> you know, at least I'm having fun. <laughs> you know, it's all about having fun, eh? You know, people tell me I don't smile enough or have enough fun when I play chess. You know, this is me having fun. You know? <laughs> Apparently, the, my face when I play chess is not that, um... <laughs> not that friendly. Okay, I guess we're going to find out if um if, if this H you know who this H five H three uh, break has has helped probably helps him. But I'm gonna try and provoke F three. Um, but yeah. When, when you look back at this match and this tournament, I'm just a lucky player. 
It's, it's sad how lucky I am. No skill. Okay, I'm gonna go knight back. I'm gonna try and bring my bishop to uh, c6 to challenge the uh, bishop on g2. Um, there's also kind of the c5 ideas. So my knight could come to e6. Yeah. So this is kind of an interesting way to be prophylactic, but. You know, I have the idea of playing just bishop d7 immediately and if c5, d5. And c6, you know, take, takes. It's obviously not that bad, right? If like knight d2, I go c6, c4. Okay, d4 there. Probably just an unnecessary risk considering the match situation. Here I can't develop, I just go c5. Uh, difficult decision. I think I'm just going to play c5. d4, f5, knight g5. Ah, I don't like it. I don't like it. I play okay, so now I need to find the best uh, best continuation. So I five immediately if it's wrong. Take take bishop f five. You know I can I can get behind that move. I can get behind that. And like take and then okay, okay bishop, take take bishop f5 queen d3 castles dc dc bishop c5 bishop b4 bishop there bishop d3 takes rookie eight bishop f8 bishop okay so takes bishop f5 queen d3 i can play castles And hold on. And I managed to get the move rook to um, okay. take. Oh, this queen d4. Shoot. Queen d5, I mean. Bishop e6. Queen e6. And then I can go takes rook over. Wait, this actually looks very playable. Oh, there's an c 5 And I lose. It's terrible. Yeah, I know I lose in every way. Oh, it's just terrible calculation on my end. Even with even with my luck, I'm managing you know, to lose the match. But, uh, no surprise. Oh, wait, is that a mistake? some activity here. Yeah, I can imagine a world where I, I don't lose this.
I need some help from him though. This is a start. Yeah, it's the start of the next game. Yeah, that, that, that's, that was not the, the start I was looking for. Just lost. I don't even know what went wrong there. That's that's an issue. So it's up to the last game now. At least I have white. Could go for the same line, but I'm going to go for it again. This takes. Maybe is he gonna go for it or yeah, I actually I know the line here pretty well. There's a certain feeling you get when you're really in your spit.
It's unfortunate. Unfortunate. Yeah. Teach play play better than me. Yeah. Yeah, it was a good match. Need to work on my uh, openings. Like I, I, I feel like I was playing pretty well at some point, and then uh, I blundered with this move. In, in, in key points, I'm, uh, I'm choking. I would choked one, one too many times in, in key positions. Um. Yeah, anyways, thank you for uh, uh, hosting the tournament. Um, thanks to everyone in chat supporting. Um, you know, not the way I, I wished it to end, but, you know, just got to you know, get better as a player and uh, win these sort of matches. Um, Sure, sure. Um, yeah. Uh, I guess I'm moved, moved 36. Move 37 was my blunder, but I felt like I was playing, outplaying him to, a, to an extent. And then uh, I lost, I lost a grip at some point. D4, D4, D4. Yeah, maybe this was taking this pawn was a bit too too ambitious. Um, anyways, uh, thank you guys for for watching. Um, I'm gonna go do some homework and uh, prepare for my gym room tournament. Okay, goodbye, guys. The 2021 Chess Tour will be the first time the world's best chess player is determined over a full online season. This tour will not only reinvent the sport, it will also reinvent how chess is broadcasted to a wide audience. To do so, we will create an amazing show. We are now looking for the best English-speaking talent out there to be a part of this. You will be instrumental in making chess interesting and exciting entertainment also for viewers with only basic chess skills. You will fill this studio with drama and enthusiasm when you give a global audience the excitement, time trouble, the genius moves, and the inevitable blunders. Can you see yourself as part of this team? Do you want to be part of building something never before seen in chess? Send us a screen test and show us some examples of the work you are most proud of. Ladies and gentlemen. Okay, good game, Alresa. I, I mean, I just was way out of shape, but he deserves full credit. One of the most popular Chess 24 formats is back now. 
a tournament where top players not only battle it out on the board, but stream their thoughts live as they play. Eight qualifying tournaments with eight players each. Only one winner per qualifier. The eight winners will play against eight Super GMs in the final of the Banter Series. Awesome prizes for the winners. Plus, the top two players qualify for the next Magnus Carlsen Chess Tour. Watch it all on Chess24.